for 2m plus 5m. Okay, just like 2 plus 5 because they are like terms. So just think about that. Okay, so 2 plus 5 is 7. So your answer is 7m. Okay, next one. Let's say 2, let's say 6a. Okay, plus 7a. Okay, same thing. Just like seven apples, add another six apples. Okay, so you just go seven plus six is thirteen. So your answer is thirteen. A. See, very simple. Okay. Next one. Let's say four x square. Okay, add five x square. See, they're both they're both x square. So where where there are is like terms, okay? So it's because x square x square. So you got four x square plus another five x square. So all together is nine x square. There you go. Now let's add one more term, okay? So it's the same. So what we need to do is we need to just look for the like term first before we do anything, okay? So you can see four m plus seven plus two m. So the M is a light term, so that 4M and 2M. Remember, whatever in front of the pronumal is belong to it, so the plus is before, okay? So we got 4M at 2M is 6M, you see? So your answer is 6M. And then the 7, we can't do anything because there's no light term there, so I just write plus 7 there. That's all it is, okay? Let's say this one here, uh, minus, minus 2m plus 5 and minus 7m, okay? So step number one, of course, you look for like term first. So therefore, the like term is m, right? But it's minus 2m, okay? And this is minus 7m. So they are like term. So it's minus 7, minus 2. So just go for start from negative 7, you go back another 2, so it's negative 9. So minus 9m. Otherwise, just use your calculator, just put in minus 2, minus 7. You should get minus 9 on your calculator. Okay? So you get minus 9m plus 5. Okay? Okay, this one here, 4mn, 4mn plus m, okay, minus 12mn, okay. So, first of all, again, you look for light terms. So, the light term of this is m and n, okay, so which is 4m, this one here, 4mn minus, okay, because it's in front, must be including that one as well so minus 12 mn so which is minus minus 12 mn plus 4 or 4 minus 12 12 minus 4 is 8 so therefore 4 minus 12 must be minus 8 okay so negative 8 m n okay the plus m we just write it down see plus m now in algebra we normally do not write a negative in front unless you know we got no choice. We have if we have no choice, we have to leave it at this. But at the moment, I can switch around, and it look nicer. So which is the m in front because m is positive, so I can write m minus eight m n. There you go. Let's move on next one. Okay, so um, let's say let's say twelve. Okay, 12x squared plus 7x minus 8x squared, okay? So if you think about it, okay, same thing, you just collect light terms. So what we need to do, we'll look for light term first, okay? So the light term of this is 12x squared and minus 8x squared, okay? So 12 minus 8 is 4. So that means 4 
but not four, four x squared. Okay, please keep that in mind for me. So now the there's seven x, so just write it down. There you go. That is your answer. All right. Now let's do one more on um, three terms. Okay. So this one here. Let's say four, four m n squared plus six m square n minus let's say seven m n square. Well, they look all the same. Okay, but if you actually put thought into it, um, they're not quite exactly the same because the only like term for this is n square, m n square. You see, you can see this, this one here. See, four m n square, m n square, so minus seven m n square. See, that's the only one because it's six m square. There is no m square on the other two. You can see that. So, 4 minus 7, okay, so think about it, 7 minus 4 is 3, correct? So therefore, 4 minus 7 is minus 3, so your answer is minus 3m n squared. Otherwise, just use your calculator, 4 minus 7, okay, and give, should give you minus 3. So then the plus 6, I just write it down, so 6m squared n, all right? Okay, let's move on to um, four terms now. Okay, remember the questions is um, is simplified um, the uh, ex these expressions. Okay, so which is collect light terms. So what we do again? Okay, we just look for the light term first. So the first light term of this is nine x square. Okay, and minus six x square. These are the light term. So this means that. 9 minus 6 is 3. Okay, so your answer is 3x squared. Alright, and you left with 4x. Okay, 4x and ax. They are light term as well. See, there you go. So they're light term. So 4 plus 8 is 12. So you go add 12x. Okay. Next one, let's say 4AB, okay, I write here, 4AB plus 5A plus 5AB and then plus 2A, okay? So again, you can see there are two like terms, okay? So what we do, we go 4AB is and 5AB a like term. So your answer should be 4 plus 5, so which is 9, okay, so 9AB. And then what we have here is 5A and 2A. So therefore we add them together. So 5A plus 2A, which is 5 plus 2, is 7, so 7A, that's all. All right, let's move on to the next one. So let's say minus 2, okay, minus 2A plus 4b plus 6a minus 2b okay so light term again so minus let's say minus 2a and 6a of course uh, the plus in front of 6 is also including so that means that means minus 2a plus 6a so minus 2 plus 6 which is same as 6 minus 2 right so which is 4 so your answer is 4a. And then plus 4b and minus 2b are like term. So that means 4 minus 2. Okay, so 4 minus 2 is 2. So 2 means plus 2. So 2b. That's the answer. Okay. This one here. m square. m square minus n square plus 8m square minus 2n square okay so what it means is this light term again so which is m square and plus 8m square remember whatever side be in front okay is belong to it so which is nothing in one uh, in m square in front that mean one 
Okay, so this means it's 1. That means 1m squared. Keep that in mind. 1m squared, okay, plus 8m squared, so 9m squared. So the answer is 9m squared. And then, minus 2n squared, minus 2n squared. So minus n squared, again, nothing in front of n squared, that means 1, okay? So minus 1, minus 2. Okay, just like you owe the bank a dollar and you owe another two dollars, so all together is all three. Otherwise, you know, you start from negative two, you go to the left, another one, so in the minus three. Alternately, you can even use calculator, you go minus one, minus two, minus two. If you use that, you equal, it gives you minus three. Very simple, okay, it's about the process. So just keep that in mind, it's all about the process, so which is which is minus three n squared, you see? So this is a diagram, okay, it's a triangle. The question is find the perimeter of this triangle, okay? So you know that perimeter is the length around the shape, so which is P, okay, P is equal to, let's start from here, shall we? Okay, this is 4A, see? And then you add this length here, which is 2A, and then you add this length, that's all, which is 4a plus 5, that's all. So the light term are 4a plus 2a and plus 4, uh, 4a again, okay? So 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 4 is 10, so your answer is 10a. And then the 5, I, there's no light term for that, I just copied that out, see? This is the perimeter of this triangle. So find the perimeter of this um, isosceles triangle, okay? So if you see this symbol like this, okay, this means that they both sides are the same, okay? So which is two, 2x plus three, and this side also 2x plus three. So the perimeter of this shape, P is equal to, um, I'm start from here, which is two, 3x minus 2, and this side here is at 2x plus 3, and this side as well, same as the side on the right here, so which is at 2x plus 3. So if you add them together, okay, the light terms are 3x, 2x, and 2x, you see? So that means 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 9 is 2 is 7, okay, so 7x. And then minus 2 plus 3 is 1, 1 plus 3 is 4. Otherwise, just put um, these number on your calculator. It just, all you need to do is just go minus 2 plus 3 plus 3, okay, and you should get 4. Do you understand? That's all, okay? So 4 min plus 4, of course. So that's the answer. Now, last question on um, on um, this, okay? So if you think you're good, you can pause the video, try to do it yourself. Find the perimeter of these um, shapes, okay? And then um, otherwise, just watch how I do it, okay? So the perimeter of this shape, okay? This is a tra um, trapezium, okay? So but both sides are the same. So which is one of them, this side what I'm, I'm talking about, okay, these two are the same. Now, which means I'm going to start from the bottom up, okay, so which is 4x plus 8 plus this shape here, which is side here, so x minus 5, add, okay, 2x, okay, plus 1, and add this side as well, 2x plus 1, so add 2x plus 1. You see? So now what I do, okay, again, light term, 4x plus x plus 2x plus 2x, okay, sorry about the writing because I try to squeeze everything on one page. So which is 4 plus 1 is 5, 5 plus 2 is 7, 7 plus 2 is 9, okay, so 9x, okay, so the light term of this one is 8, okay, minus 5, and plus 1, plus 
okay? So 8 minus 5 is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. Else, just put everything on your cal calculator. So you go, um, the answer is plus 5. There you go. Thank you so much for watching my videos, okay? Now, I'm, I have a few questions for you. If you are keen, you can um, try to do those one. Simplify these uh, expressions by collecting like terms. Okay, just four questions. And then one of these questions here, uh, find the perimeter of this diagram. Okay, so see if you can. Please try it, see if you can, okay? Thank you again for watching my videos.